Hi everyone, well by request, here's a tutorial on how to draw fashion flats using Inkscape. So there's an example of fashion flat, so it's just a 2D linear image of an item of clothing. So what I'm going to have a go at drawing is Alice's red dress from Resident Evil. Over here we have snapping selected and it's just snap to nodes or handle and I've only got snap to cusp nodes selected. For drawing the outline of this dress, I'm just going to start at the top here, just go all the way around to there, draw that side, now draw the back on afterwards, then a bit of straps, and we'll do a reverse of the image, and same again. Got the pen tool selected for drawing curves. When drawing with the pen tool, you want to imagine where you want the curves to start and end, and that is where you're putting the node points down. So starting with the top of her boobs at the moment, it's about there, so I'll click and click to there and so on down to her waist and then to the bottom of the skirt I think it should be about that long and over to here and then we click on the start point to finish I just need to edit that slightly, so we just go on the edit path by nodes. I just need to bring that up a bit, not the waist on that side. Yeah, roughly there. Now, what I'm meant to do is add a few curved lines onto our skirt edge. So I'm just going to double click on where I want to add these. So that's putting new node points in. And we're going to just dragging it off a bit. Right, something like there I think. So when zooming in, hold down control and move the mouse wheel. Okay, so let's get the back of the skirt drawn. So let's click a line there. This is just to help me get it, get the level right on it, so I can draw a straight line. So it's got to go roughly to there. Yeah, that'll look good. Right click to finish. Then handle to cusp node, click there, there. Because I want to put lots of sort of curves at the bottom here. Which we click those in. Now, so I zoom in and click there, click, 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 and click. Right click to finish. Uh, change the colour of that, so click on stroke paint and make it sort of grey. Something like that, that'll do. Now to turn these straight edges into curves. So I've got the edit nodes by path tool. And just click on the line and click and drag. That turns it to a curve. Uh, a very slight curve at these points. Right now for the bottom edges of a skirt, click and drag it. Do you want that way for it? We want that way. We'll go for there. Yep, so something like that. For the bottom of the skirt, we'll just click there. Right, let's get rid of the old line underneath that I put in. So just click, just click that tool there, select some transform objects, click the line and then press delete. Go back to the edit nodes tool. There we go. Now I'll put a few more decorative features on this. So I'll select the pen tool, just zoom in, put a line down to there. And for, I just want to change what I'm snapping to at the moment. So I'm going to snap to, I'm going to snap to paths. I'll just go for about there. Yeah, and then right click to finish. Change the colour of the line back to black. Right, back to there. Yep, something 
I put a couple of curves here, so yeah, that'll do. I'll put another line underneath, again, it's like a decorative feature. I'll right click to finish the line, and we're just going to make that curve there. Alright, let's draw the straps onto the address. We'll take off the snap to note. We'll take off the snap to cusp nodes. So it's handle to path only. Uh, as well as roughly that far. There we go. For the straps, because I want them looking the same the other side. Just take a copy. So press Control C, then Control Alt and V. And press H to get a mirror image. Just drag them across to here. That's it. Put them together. Right. I want a slightly smoother corner there because that does look a bit jagged. So I'll just zoom in, select that line there, and double click to add a new node, double click to add another node, and select that old node and press delete. Hold down control and click the handle. There we are, it looks a bit smoother. Same for that side. Double click, double click. Select that one, press delete, and we'll delete handle, hold down control and select the handle. And there we go. Now to finish drawing the back of the dress, one line going across roughly there to there. Make it grey, uh, press page down to put it behind, so it moves it behind the black lines, we don't want it showing through. Now I want the back of the straps to go down to that line, that level, so that is, it's going to be like that isn't it I think. Yeah, I think that looks roughly like it. Same for the other side. So I could take that, copy it, and paste, mirror image, and put it across. Except I've only done one line, not both. Damn. So select both lines, hold down Control and Shift. Press Control C, Control V, mirror image, press H, and then we'll drag them across. And it's got to be uh, roughly there isn't it I think. Just tidy that up. Right now to draw the back of the dress. So highlight the whole lot, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and move it across to the right. Make that line black. And take the edit nodes tool. Set so that on. Now we'll delete these lines here. Delete these node points. And down to here. Highlight that node. And then we click break path at selected nodes. And that can be dragged away. I like that one, click delete, press delete. And there we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely lopsided that dress, isn't it? Whoops. Close enough for an example though. Right, draw this line away across here. Oops, that should be a node point actually. Right, we want to get rid of those lines. Delete that, select it, delete, delete. For that line, create two new nodes there and there. Double click on it, double click there. Hold out that node, press delete, hold down control, and delete the handles. It does look slightly 
below there. So let's snap that node up. Let's break the path. Drag it away and press delete. Done. All right. All right. We need to move those straps down to the bottom, don't we? So that's to there. Into there. Same for that side. Now let's change the colour of all those. So I'll down control and shift, select them all. Change the colour to black. Need to get rid of those lines underneath. Break the path. Drag it away and press delete. Same for the other side. Right, and that is looking pretty good now, I think. Add a few decorative lines just to indicate the material is slightly folded. So I'm going to choose that colour grey, make sure we've got the same grey. So I'll take a copy of the RGBA number there. Let's draw some lines on. I think it's just got to go sort of roughly straight up. Let's turn, turn that off there. Place that new number in for the colour. Roughly like that, I think. Same for this up here. For over here, doing a few lines like that. If we need all these lines to go through to so the back of the image, just highlight them all, just Control C, Control V, drag them across. I should have done that a bit earlier, really. Would have been a bit easier. That's it. It's the same place, isn't it? And there we go. There's a fashion flat for drawing Alice's dress in Resident Evil.